In the past, speeding up your WordPress site was quite the chore. It took a combination of caching plugins, image compression, using a CDN, finding the right hosting, and more, just to get things running efficiently. But there's one company that's made some crazy advancements in the optimization space to make it that much simpler. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do all these things for free with one click. To better understand how to optimize WordPress, we need to first understand why it's necessary in the first place. WordPress out of the box is optimized but in order to get things looking how you want, in come themes and plugins. All of these third-party add-ons weigh down WordPress quite a bit, and this leads to a sluggish experience for your site's visitors. And speed matters. A slow website can be frustrating to visitors, and it can hurt your Google search rankings. Google doesn't want to rank sites that lead to a bad user experience, so optimizing your site can lead to better organic search rankings and increased conversion rates. Optimizing your WordPress site is critical, but where where do we even start? Before installing optimization plugins in WordPress, you should first take a look at your theme choice and hosting. But if you've already built your site, don't sweat it. You don't need to change themes just to speed up your WordPress site. But if you're just getting started with your website, it can help to pick a theme from a reputable developer. Themes written by beginners can sometimes have bloated and inefficient code, and this can slow down your website. I'd recommend picking a well-rated theme from ThemeForest, or make sure the company you're downloading the theme from is reputable. Cadence, Divi, and Astra are a few examples of high quality WordPress themes not offered through ThemeForest, but they're from reputable companies, and I would trust any of these themes to offer a well-optimized experience. This is not an exhaustive list of trustworthy themes, but I don't want to spend too much time on themes in this video. You should also spend some time finding the right hosting for you. If your website is mostly static, like a personal site, a blog, or a corporate landing page, speed optimization can do a lot to increase increase the speed on the front end of your website, even if your hosting isn't particularly fast. If your WordPress hosting is lacking in performance, it will often show with slow load times in the WP Admin dashboard and with any highly dynamic front end features such as WooCommerce or forums. I recommend hosting from DreamHost, Hostinger, or WP Engine, but there are so many high quality WordPress hosts out there. Once your theme and hosting is locked in, you'll wanna take a look at a few main things, your website's cache, your image optimization, and your content delivery network. Caching is essentially temporary storage that holds static pages on the web server. Instead of the server dynamically generating the page each time a user visits it, it's able to hold the last version of that page, and assuming nothing has changed, it can send that back to the user and result in much faster load times. There are a lot of methods for caching. Some hosts like to offer their own plugins or services, and some users install third-party options like W3 Total Cache. After tackling the cache, you'll want to take a look at image optimization. Images are often the largest files that have to load when a user visits your website. We may not think about image size or resolution anymore when uploading images to our site thanks to modern responsive design practices that mean images of any resolution can fit anywhere on a page. So it's tempting to not think about this, but if you upload a 5 megabyte image file to your website, that's a 5 megabyte file that has to load every time a user visits your page. Maybe you've got three images like this, and suddenly that's 15 megabytes of files that have to load every time a user visits your site. The manual way to fix this problem is by compressing images before you upload them. You can use online tools that often use a mix of lowering the image's resolution and using modern compression algorithms that can significantly decrease file size without affecting quality much. But this is a pain to remember to do with each image you upload, and that's where plugins like Smush offer automatic image optimization every time you upload an image in the WordPress dashboard. The last major step to optimizing your site is to use a content delivery network. For many of us, our sites have a global reach, but it's only stored on one web server in the entire world. If your web server is located in the US and someone in Australia loads your website, that visitor is going to have to wait for the files to travel all the way from the US back to Australia before the page can load. It's not economical to have a full copy of your website stored on hundreds hundreds of web servers across the globe, but it is achievable with your site's most critical files. A content delivery network is a global network of servers that can store cached copies of pages, image files, and other assets. This way, if a user in Australia loads your website, servers located in their country can deliver those most critical files.
files, while anything not stored by the CDN can simultaneously load from the main server in the US. Cloudflare is my personal favorite CDN, and they have servers located in over 300 cities across the world. These are three main ways you can optimize your website, but there's also a ton of other techniques you can use, like HTML minification, image lazy loading, and automatic cache warmup. The only problem is, managing all these methods and techniques to keep your website running smoothly can be a headache. If you've ever played with a plugin like W3 Total Cache, you may have noticed that it's really easy to break your website when you tinker with the settings and features. Now, I recently discovered a much better way to optimize your website with one click. It's a WordPress speed optimization platform called NitroPack. NitroPack was kind enough to sponsor this video, and after using it on my own website for the past few months, I can definitely say that I've noticed a speed improvement. NitroPack does everything I've mentioned and more. Instead of installing caching plugins, image optimization plugins, minification plugins, setting up a CDN, and all those other things, you could just install NitroPack, flip a switch, and be done with it. And I'll be real, when I first heard about NitroPack, I was expecting it to be pretty expensive. But actually, it's totally free to use for up to 5,000 page visits per month. There's no credit card required to use the free version, and if you do have a large amount of traffic, you can upgrade starting at $21 a month for 50,000 page views per month. You can also get 10% off with promo code Krayler. The biggest thing that sets NitroPack apart from other solutions is that it's more of a service than a plugin. They're constantly updating it with new features and optimization techniques, and they have a 24-7 support team to help with issues. You've got access to platform-specific experts to help with problems that may arise, and you've got a team of people you can rely on to keep your site running smoothly. The reality of speed optimization is that sometimes things do go wrong. Like I mentioned earlier, with page minification. Changing certain settings and tinkering with things can often break your website. It's easy to get frustrated and give up on optimization entirely. But with NitroPack, it really is as simple as installing it, choosing your optimization mode, and enjoying your faster website. If you do want to fine tune the settings, you can access the controls in NitroPack's panel. But I just set mine to ludicrous mode and I've been enjoying zippy speeds on my website. NitroPack has one of the most comprehensive optimization stacks on the market with over 30 features, and it delivers one of the best Lighthouse performance scores, with it being the leading Core Web Vitals solution. Over 90% of all NitroPack optimized pages load within 3 seconds, and over 79% of all NitroPack users say they don't need any other optimization plugins. I would definitely fall within that 79%. After installing NitroPack, I don't feel the need to use plugins like Smush anymore. But if you did want to use these other plugins, NitroPack has a compatibility guide on their website that shows how to use NitroPack with these other optimization plugins and still get great results. Optimizing WordPress sites has always been a daunting task, but I can honestly say, since using NitroPack on my main site, I will never worry about optimization again. The NitroPack free plan is going to be a great fit for a lot of users, and the premium plans offer a great value for what you're getting. Huge thanks to NitroPack for sponsoring this video. You can get started with NitroPack at the link in the description below. And don't forget to use promo code Krayler to get 10% off. After you've optimized your website, you might be wondering which web host is right for you. I've got a video comparing my top web hosts that you can check out here.